In one of my last videos I talked about mistakes in the fish selection. I barely scratched the surface though. Let's continue. I got a file fish a few years ago because I thought it was an interesting fish and it could help with Aptasia. It did. But this was a mistake. This is a species that appears to suffer more than most others with captivity. It often swims up and down in front of the glass like it's looking for a way out. It's really sad to watch. I keep thinking of a song by Kate Bush. I kept it in a cage, watched it weeping, but I made it stay. Then it happened. One day I saw a post on a local Facebook group of someone offering a really beautiful dead bonsai trunk. I messaged the guy and he told me someone had messaged him a few minutes sooner. I was curious to see what the new owner of that bonsai was going to do with the piece of wood, so I looked into his profile. He also had a reef tank and his last post was about losing an antias because it had jumped out of the tank. I remember putting down the tablet and I went to check my tank. This was a couple of years before I had my current tank. And what do you know, there she was, my filefish on the floor. She looked almost dry and she wasn't moving. I picked her up and still she didn't move. And then, still in my hand, she made a slight movement. I put her in the tank and I held her in front of a pump for some minutes and she started moving a little on her own. I decided to let her go, but it was too soon and she landed on the anemones. I grabbed the net and I put her inside and she stayed there for over an hour before I released her again. She made it and I got the jump guard. I decided that she was lonely. She looked like a female and I was looking for a male for some time without any success. Only juveniles were available anywhere and you can only tell the gender of adults. So I decided to get a juvenile. During the first months the little one was mostly close to her. Uh, it seemed to reduce a little the swimming in front of the glass. Time passed and they grew apart. They were both females and now I had two fish swimming in front of the glass. Fast forward a couple of years, back in October last year, I saw that the new fish store had opened nearby just 75 kilometers away. I saw on their website that they had an adult file fish and I told them how to check the gender and it was a male. It was the last fish I added to my tank. I quarantined him a few meters away from the tank in a fuzzy semi-transparent container. Two or three days later, after I brought the fish home, one of the two females began clearing a rock. I had never seen that before. She knew about him. And that's how I ended with three filefish that swim up and down in front of the glass. They spawn and it's the female job to prepare the nesting site and tend to the eggs. I'm still unsure about what's the relationship between the three of them. To start with, it's not easy to distinguish between the two females, they are roughly the same size and they change color and patterns. The male is sometimes aggressive towards both of them. What makes me believe that the male picked just one of them is their behavior when I feed Nori. One of the female never eats it and is always far away. It's sad, especially because I suspect the older female, the one that I picked from the floor, is the lonely one. Once again, thanks for watching.